more than 50 years, researchers with what's now called the Audubon Seabird Institute have spent their summers on islands off the coast of Maine studying birds like puffins and tern. They have helped protect the growth of populations once nearly lost to Maine's coastline. In a continuing series we have had right here on this show, we've learned about the research done and what can be learned from it. Now we'll hear from a field researcher who lives on Seal Island for four months out of the year, something Coco Faber has done for the last nine summers, five of those on Seal Island. It's a not so glamorous life in a tent, totally disconnected from the mainland, but Faber and her fellow researchers wouldn't change a thing. If you've been at Seal Island, are you able to, to track some of the birds and, and see them come back and, and follow up on their progress? Yeah, and honestly, like, that is one of the biggest reasons that, like, I come back year after year. Like, I, I love this project. I love the island, but it's also, like, you're like, I want to know what happens. <laughs> um, there are burrows on the island where, like, I could tell you everything that happened in that one specific burrow, like, every year for the past five years. And getting to have that kind of knowledge of a place and of a species and of an individual is, like, so compelling. Just this morning, I was sitting in a blind looking around and I saw a, a puffin that I was like, that one looks pretty young. They're, you can tell a little bit like the shape of their bill and stuff if they're a younger bird. And I was able to like read the, the bands that it had on it. And then we like look it up and you're like, oh, that bird was one that uh, my friend who I worked with banded two years ago. I know what burrow it's from. Like I know what the parents are like. And so you get the reward like years later sometimes of like seeing who came back, who has made it to an adulthood. That attachment can make watching pufflings like Ama fledge the burrow a little bittersweet. Ama has spent her first few months in front of many eyes through the Audubon's Puffin Burrow Cam offering a live stream to viewers all around the world. Faber was the researcher to band AMA, which will be helpful when or if AMA returns to breed in three to five years. These islands, like as researchers here, we have this kind of backstage pass to this whole world that most people just don't get to see or experience. Like even for us, the burrow cameras give us this access that we wouldn't have otherwise. There's stuff that we've learned from those cameras that like no one has ever seen before because the puffins are living a lot of their lives just like under the ground. You know, we have really, um, really dedicated viewers of our cams. And something that we're always impressed with here too is just how like, kind of supportive and loving and caring we feel like our specifically puffin camera community is and so that's something that's like really means a lot to us here that said what is life like out there for four months out on the island we have a little cabin we have tent platforms so there's a crew of usually like four to five people here and um, we each have our little tent and then the cabin is sort of our shared everything space we do not have running water we do have solar power here and actually because of the cams we have wi-fi which is wild and luxurious um <laughs> and i think a lot of people are also like oh they must just be eating out of cans for four months <laughs> but we get like resupply runs every couple weeks uh, with like food and water and um, I don't know, we, we have a pretty great time out here. <laughs> like everyone who works here pretty much loves it. And loves the research of these seabirds, how climate change is impacting them and what they're doing to adapt. We're working in these restored colonies. And so these are places where there were historically nesting seabirds. At one point they were extirpated or nearly extirpated. And now we have these colonies that are growing for our puffins especially, like we find more new burrows every year. There are more new breeding birds every year. And so the birds are doing these really exciting, difficult things. How we feel all the time is like, we need to be doing more to kind of match how much effort the birds put in to feeding their chicks, to coming back, migrating every year back to the island. It's just, it's so, it's so very hard to be a bird and they have so much against them already that we think a lot about what we can be doing to do our part. Faber and her team will leave the island mid-September once most of the birds have started their journey away from Maine. They'll likely pick up researching jobs in other parts of the country, then return to Seal Island next May.